everybody welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new this is the with real journal talk and so in today's video i am going to kick it off with my january's budget for the new year and let's get started so it, as you can see by the cover i am still doing digital for um probably the first couple of months um and so I got this um, planner online um, from the Organized Money Budget Planner. It's actually a planner where you can print it off. Um, I just decided to use um, a couple of the pages to um, for what I plan to do for you know this year. But that's here there. But it's a whole big. Um, it's a yearly budget planner and you just have to, you could use the whole thing, print it out, or you could just take different pieces and make it into your own if you're doing it digital. So that's what I did. Um, so if I haven't said it already, um, I hope you all had a good Christmas and a good New Year's. Um, so let's get started with this budget. So what I have done thus far is in this budget planner, um, it has where you can have your going for the goals. And so I kind of put out four goals um, that I would like to try to accomplish this year. Um, if, if for some reason I'm not able to accomplish it, then of course I'll just try again next year. Um, but first out my goal, I would love to save $10,000 as a whole. Um, I need to replace like $1,500 that I used out of um, one of my savings um, for when I got my um, vehicle repairs. So I want to replace that. Um, and then, of course, um, if you watched my video um, a couple of months ago, um, I had to get another loan due to the fact that I had to reduce some repairs to um, a vehicle. So I want to try to attempt to pay that off. And then I want to pay extra on my um, um, Home Depot card, try to get that knocked down. So, and so then also I took one of the um, insert pages. It's a money routine. I haven't filled this piece out yet just because I'm still kind of thinking how would I use this? Um, Cause it's for the years. So I, I I haven't really grasped my mind on this page, so it's blank right now. Um, this is the yearly finance overview. So um, you have it where you could put um, what the starting balance is, income, expenses, savings, debt, and imbalance for your finances. So that's one page. Um, this is the bills and subscriptions tracker. I did use this page because I do have subscriptions. I don't have anything annually. I have quarterly um, a Sirius XM account, so I just put that in here. That I do have two monthly, um, my Amazon Prime and my Apple um, um, for the, um, the little storage for iCloud, Apple. So I did use that. And here is a debt reduction tracker. I will be using this once I get myself acclimated. Um, but this is where I will put in um, the debt that I have and every month what I'm paying towards that debt. And then at the end of the year, I should be able to have a total on what I actually paid towards the debt um, to see if it went down any or how much, if so. So I will be using this. I just haven't. Um, put anything here because it's still the first of the month <laughs> we just got in 2023 so here is a snowball a debt snowball tracker and for this I did put in for my debt one which is the um, credit union so I am going to tackle that on so I did put this here and what I did was I just have the months for where I will um, make those payments once I get started. And so this is the yearly savings. So one of the goals is I want to save 
as a whole and then i also want to replace that 15 so it's looking like um that may i may use that as the the, the beginning balance uh, uh. no i'm just gonna start off with zero um and then um put in whatever I, whatever i save every month and just do it as a whole by the end of the year to see what i was able to save that's that's what i'll do i'll just start the beginning balance off with zero and then whatever i'm saving every month i'll just add it on here and then have the total so this is um the savings tracker i did use one of these trackers um the goal is amount needed be 10 um and since since i'm since i decided to just start from scratch let me put zero here because it's asking for the starting balance and so ultimately the goal would be to try to have ten thousand by the end of the year um the only thing i can do is shoot for the stars but um that's going to be something that i'm trying for so and then it has um the savings jar so i am utilizing that and any amount that i put towards that ten thousand dollar goal i'll just color this in and the amount that was saved and keep it moving next savings tracker i'm going to do is the replace that funds that 1500 that i mentioned earlier um and the reason why i did put the balance excuse me why i did put a starting balance here is because because since I'm calling this a replacement fund I want to make sure that I included that balance because that's the only reason why I have this particular amount that I'm trying to re save back up is to replace it so that's the goal for that for the year um, and this is the savings jar for that as well every time I put something in I'll color in the jar and put the amount to the side and here is um, my sinking funds. I've always done sinking funds, but what I'm going to do this year is I am going to focus on um, every pay period, saving a certain amount. And at the end of the year, it should be total $2,400. And this is, um, this is something that I would not have to uh, go in and save. It's automatically going into account that's going to be saved. So this should work out just right as long as nothing happens. I should be able to have that amount at the end of the year. And here's the jar for that. Um, same routine. I'll color in the jar and put the amount beside it every time I do a payment. Okay, so let's get started with the monthly budget. So for, for January, um, I have the salary. That's what's budgeted. Um, $3,293.88 and um, unfortunately the only way this would increase is if I have another job or something um, some other type of hustle income but that's going to be the amount um, a little bit more because I know it's supposed to be a raise coming up this month but you're not really going to tell but um uh, I guess anything is better than nothing, but once February comes, that'll be allocated in, and that'll be just a set salary because it's a set salary. So the only way this will ever go up is if I decide I wanted another job or I'm doing some side hustling for extra income, and, and that's not something that I'm thinking about doing at the moment. So here are the bills. So for the month of January, I have... Um, two student loans that I will be making payments towards, um, 8007 and 140. Um, my insurance for my vehicle, I'm budgeting 131. My storage, I'm budgeting $27.50. Um, lights and water, I'm budgeting 420 um, for the month. Um, natural gas, I'm budgeting 40. Credit union is eighty dollars because I do forty dollars per pay period. Um, Home Depot, I'm budgeting a hundred. I think that that's going to definitely change just because um, I had to end up getting a water heater, so that's going to change. But I've 
but I already had this set up before that purchase. So that's going to change and I'll make the changes once I start um, doing the budget for um, the pay period. Um, my project account, um, that's 200 a month. So that's going to total $1,118.57. So I will be making some adjustments here because for some reason I forgot to put my Amazon Prime and my Apple under the bill category. So I needed to add the sixteen oh four and the three dollars basically up to the up under the bills. And so I will make those adjustments um with when I start when I get paid and I do my paycheck. Um, I'll make those adjustments. And then my shopping for the month, that's including all of the, um, like, food, gas, um, any type of personal for the kids, anything that's going to be in that 930. Other is going to be what was left over after paying everything. That 765 is going to change because I have to um, take away this Amazon and Apple from that. So that's going to change, but it's still going to put me at a zero base budget um, just because that I'm going to redo that piece. So then we have up here for the sinking funds, the taxes is $160 um, for the month, and then the savings is $320, which is going to give me $480. So once I amend those two, it's still going to have a zero base budget for the month of January. So this is basically um, the planner that I'll be using for the first quarter um, and see how it goes. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to accomplish the goals that I, I want to accomplish for this year. So that's basically it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, until next time, bye.